separate the seed, how to clean the seeds. We divide seed into three groups. The first group is dry seeds. The seed in the dry pot. Like uh, this uh, diamond or reddish reddish. A lady's finger. Reddish finger. Okra. Okra. Ah, but there's a round one, no edge. Oh. Ah. Mm. Oh, oh, this is okra. Okra. Oh, that's different no kind of okra. No, ah, different kind of okra. Okay. Okay. If we, uh, this is we call dry seeds because the pot is dry. Mainly dry pot is is the majority of seed in the garden mm -hmm. that we have, like uh, cabbages. Chinese cabbages, uh, beans, corn, all kinds of beans, and coriander, celery. So this plant, we consider dry seed. We let the seed pot dry on the plant directly, like this. And then we pick them, and then we break it apart. Sometimes if you have a lot, we can put on the on the plastic sheet and then we run over it. Sometimes if a lot, like a bean, we just put the top on the concrete floor and drive the car run around. It will separate the seed from the pot <laughs> easily. And then we can strain it, sift it. We can get only the seed easily. So dry seed is easy. Just let it dry and take apart, take only the seed and keep it. It's easy. But the problem of dry seed is uh, bugs. There are many bugs that lay eggs in the seed when they are young. Even they clean it very well. But when we put in the jar and keep it for a few months, we, we will see that there's a, a little bit of dust in the bottom of the jar. Like among beans, on kind of beans, we'll have that. And then they start to propagate themselves and eat, eat more and more until there's no seed left in the jar. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what happened with the dry seed. So when we have dry seed, what we can do is just put in the refrigerators. If we have a lot, we cannot have enough. We don't have a big enough refrigerator. We can put outside. But whenever we observe that there's a dust, from the box in the bottom, put in the freezer one night and take it out. So it kills the box. That saves it. So it lasts longer after that. So dry seed is very easy. The first group is dry seed. It's easy. <coughs> Just separate it from the shelf here. Can you straight away use the seed before you freeze it? Sorry? Can you straight away use the dry seed and put it in the freezer? We can put dry seed dry in the fridge. Only dry one, uh, not fresh. You need to put in the, uh, the bottom side or the freezer. Any part of it in the refrigerator. In the bottom part, mm -hmm. it's okay. In the freezer, it's better. Mm -hmm. But it normally, they uh, if they put in the temperature, keep in the temperature lower than uh, 12 Celsius, it lasts for five or six years. Mm -hmm. If you put in the temperature lower than zero Celsius, it can last more than 50 years. All the seed from the garden will last only one year if we keep outside. And after that, they will not sprout. So keep in refrigerator is important. Uh, we, if we can store it there all the time, it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If we don't have space, we take it out after we put there in one night, just to kill the box. And then put it for how long? And put it outside. It will last only one year. And then after one year, it will not sprout anymore. But if you can put in refrigerator all the time, it can last more than five years. Okay, so that was the process to prolong it for another year or so? Yeah, yeah. We can keep it a little bit longer. Uh -huh.
Yeah. So the dry seed is very easy. The second group is a wet seed. The seed is wet like a chilies, eggplant. This is we consider wet seed because there's moisture inside. So normally wet seed we just cut it, select the fruit that look nice, and cut and take the seed out and clean it with water and dry in the shade. A few days, when it dry, we can put in the container and save it in refrigerators. So, wet seed is good to clean it very well first before we uh, keep it, because there's some uh, carbohydrate, there's something on the side of the seed that can draw a lot of moisture to the seed. So, if we clean it very well. It prevents moisture. It will not absorb moisture easily. It's better. But the problem is for uh, wet seed, some of them has problem like a chilies. Because chilies, the spiciness is on the seed, not on the skin. So when we open it and touch it, the spiciness will attach to our hand for a long time. Even we wash with soap more than 10 times, we cannot rub our eyes. <laughs> it's, it's so hot. So, the easiest way with chili is put the fresh chili like this. Collect them, select the, the collector that we want. If we want straight, it has to be totally straight. Don't make it bend. The one that curve like this, don't take it and select the collector that we want it and put in the blender. Put in the blender and add a lot of water in there. And we start to blend it. Cheat, cheat, cheat a few times. Not cheat long time. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to make the skin break apart, that's enough. And then we can pour it out, put in the bucket, put in some container. Leave it like that for another two weeks or three weeks. Let it rotten, smell very bad. And then sometimes you can see more on top, it doesn't matter. And after three weeks, you add more water and stir it. The good seed will sink to the bottom. Whatever we don't want will float on top. We just pour it out. Add new water and pour it out five or six times until there's no smell. And then we will get very, very clean seeds. We can dry them after that. The easiest way to dry seed, wet seed, is just dry on cloth or the screen. It will dry very fast. Every time when we dry seed, we need to dry in the shade only. Don't dry in the sun. Because if we dry in the sun, the edge of the seed will shorten. <coughs> like normal seed. They will last only one year if we live outside. But if we dry in the sun, it may be last only six months because the life can be shorter if it's too hot. So dry in the shade is good. So chili, after we ferment them and then clean them, there's no spiciness on the seed anymore. You can touch it, you can use it easily after that. So the way, this way, it helps us a lot. In the beginning, we don't know anything. We just dry chili and cut it open or take the seed. But everybody can use their hand to touch their body for at least one or two days. So that's, that's not fun. So ferment it first, good. And then another thing is eggplant. Some kind of eggplant is easy to peel the skin off. You can see a lot of seed. You can scrape the seed easily. But many eggplants, like a long eggplant, the seed is hiding in the meat of eggplant. It's hard to take the seed out to separate the seed. The easiest way is just chop, 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 put in the bucket and fill up with water. So then it, let it rotten. The same with chilies, three weeks. And after that, stir it. All the good seed will sink to the bottom. All the fiber and everything that we don't want in float on top, just pour it out. Clean the same thing. 
and in the wet seed group there's two things is special that is pumpkin or squash and cucumber so pumpkin and cucumber have different character if the plant still green growing well and they have fruit and the pumpkin ripe or cucumber ripe turn to yellow if we pick it and cut and take the seed immediately the germination rate is low so the good way is just cut them and leave them in the shade for another two weeks edge them first two weeks at least and then we can cut them and open them and clean the seed it will germinate very well after that so pumpkin or squash and cucumber it's good to do that don't cut open immediately when you pick from the plant let it we, in Thailand we call let it forget the, the plant the tree <laughs> the, so they will prepare to grow another one after that so this is a wet seed mainly wet seed you can soak in the water as long as you can sometimes you can soak more than two months three months they're still okay no because because they are wet already and then they can be in the water for a longer time than that and the third group the third group is uh, the seed with jelly like the seed with jelly is like uh, this is a uh, papaya seed mm. papaya seed there's some kind of jelly wrap around the seed tomato seed they have jelly wrap around the seed hash and fruit they have jelly wrap around the seed it's very hard to clean the jelly at the beginning so don't try to do it because it's hard so the easiest way is soak in the water at least one month especially papaya have to be at least one month because sometimes three weeks the clear skin haven't decomposed yet in the water so it have to be one month it will decompose if we take the seed and with the jelly wrap around like this and when we dry them the jelly will turn to very thin plastic wrap around the seed if we dry the seed with jelly like that under the shade when it totally dry and we forgot to take it to put it in the container we leave it like that for a few months mainly they don't sprout the reason is the jelly when it dry is very really flat but when the moisture in the air is very high it absorbs a lot of moisture in the air very fast if we want to know how much white moisture in the air put ice in the glass and put that glass ice on top of the plate not very long you can see it's a lot of water outside that's the moisture from the air that it has uh, uh, it was drawn drawn by the ice to come to the glass so the dry sea have capacity to draw a lot of moisture from the air they want to sprout but it's not wet enough for them to sprout and then more start to grow that's why the seed will just be destroyed by more after that so they don't sprout well so the best way to keep it make it clean is ferment them at least one month and clean them very well and dry them for a few days don't dry them longer than that because it start to absorb the moisture from the air and whenever you dry seed the best time to pick up the seed is in the afternoon don't pick in the morning because there's a lot of moisture in the air in the morning and then in the evening there are more moisture in the air come out too so in the afternoon the air is more thin from moisture so that's the best time to pick them keep in the good container close it tight and put in the refrigerator 
So all the seed that we have, if we are not going to plant them in one month, it's good to put in leaf refrigerators. Leaf refrigerator is the best place to save seed, but don't forget to plug in for leaf refrigerators. <laughs> so that's the most important part of it. Because in leaf refrigerator, it can last for a long, long time. Most of the seed lasts only one year. After one year, they will not sprout anymore, most of the seed, except you put in the refrigerators. So this is the way how to save seed normally. If we save seed like this, we can save it longer time and it's easy. So if you say uh, soak water for one month, right? Yes. You don't change the water. Then? No, don't change the water. <laughs> Let it rotten because in the, in the when we soak in the water, there's a lot of carbohydrate, there are lots of nutrition in, in the fruit there. So it draws a lot of microorganisms to come and digest those things. Uh, that help. So, at least three weeks, at least three weeks. Can you get that for the amount? Sorry? Can you get that for the amount of water? Too much? Amount no, also? you can put a lot of water, it's good. Mm -hmm. If you just put less water in there, sometimes you forget about it, it dry up. It's not good when it dry. Does it kill the seeds? Because it's submerged in the water for so long. Just so, seeds is inside the water for so long, does it kill it? No. Most of that seed, it will be okay. It, it can be in the water more than three months. Most of the seed. So, it will die. Sorry? No, no, no refrigerator? Plant uh, immediately. If we have no refrigerator, we need to plant them every year. Yeah. <laughs> and them every year. It's important, yeah. So actually, they say uh, the LP put in the ash, drop, yeah, a glass with ash. Yeah, many people put in the ash and things like that. That's just to protect them from bugs, not to keep them last long. All the seed will not last longer than one year, except very hard seed. Hard seeds like uh, tamarind seed. It's any seed that hard like a tamarind. That one, oh, like a, this kind of seed, it's very hard. Saga, you call saga. Uh, this one, it can last for more than one year. Anything hard like this, it lasts more than one year. But normally, the garden, the seed from the garden, all kind of thing in the garden, only one year. So, it's important to know about this because many people just put the seed more than one year and they still keep it. But mainly germination, uh, germination rate will drop very fast after one year. 100 seed maybe sprout only two or three only after one year in the first month. And the second month, none of them sprout at all. Those keep in fish will be 90%? Uh, yeah, they're still okay. Like if we buy seed from the market, sometimes we don't know the date that they're collecting the seeds. We plant them, they grow very well, and we just have a lot left over. We keep them for another month, and we plant them, none of them grow. That happened because it's the, the expired date end during that month perfectly. So. Sometimes just blame themselves, oh, I don't have a green thumb. Mm, yeah. yes. But actually, the seed is expired. So that can happen too. So, seeds, <coughs> saving seed is not save only seeds. We need to save the wisdom, how to eat them, how to use them too. Mm. This part is very important because many of them is toxic, is poison. If you don't know how to eat them, you die. So we need to keep that knowledge, that wisdom with us, with the seed too. Because many of them, our ancestors have to die, have to get sick, have to suffer for many hundred people. 
before we know how to eat it. So if we let this wisdom disappear, we need to start to die again, to learn how to eat them again. So it's not worth it. So it's important to keep the knowledge with us. Knowledge, how to use, how to eat, is as important as the seed. That's very important. So saving seed, the best way is save in our life. Grow them often and eat them, juice them. Make it become one part of our life. It will not disappear. It will be useful for us. Don't save seeds like an antique thing. Uh, don't save seeds like something that you will never touch it. It's useless in that way. So we need to grow them, eat them. And then it's good to grow them as often as, often as you can. Don't do like the scientists. Scientists, they keep seed in the whole room.